Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD campaign. We're back on our Kingdom of Antioch series. This is episode 2. Here today we have a massive defensive battle against the Iubids. So let's have a quick scan of the terrain. We'll try and hold the high ground. But let's get stuck into them. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> this is realistically make or break for the series. Okay, welcome to the fields of Damascus, 1218 AD. So, in the last episode, if you haven't gone and watched it, I highly recommend you do after this video. Uh, so we do got a decent amount of high ground here. We've, we've even got some deployables as well. So they are attacking us. We'll form a defensive situation, position, and we'll get those deployables going. Right, so in the last episode, we managed to declare war upon Cilicia, and we took their city. We were about to go to war with the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. However, the Pope called a crusade for Cairo. Naturally, war broke out between us and the Ayubids. We took Holmes and Aleppo. I couldn't remember the name of the settlement off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, so we took that well. We had the battle for Holmes. Now, <laughs> really awesomely, the Crusader States came and helped us out for the battle of Holmes. Um, we'll put my cavalry in front because we could be, we might be able to cat, um, to catch some of the reinforcements coming up here because we are at number two to one. We are going to have to put every single man and and body to use. So we've got some cow troops and some flaming balls as well. We might even be able to get those to use. But yeah, so we took Holmes together. The Crusader States helped out. We hit the reinforcing army in the battle just outside the settlement while the Crusaders took it. And then we claimed it for our kingdom. We hit our four settlement objective, being able to go from the Principality of Antioch to now the kingdom. But then when we marched... On Damascus after Holmes, the Crusader states came with us, but if you watched at the end of the last episode, we got baited. They ran away. We had a even battle, but now we're outnumbered two to one. I guess we just like put these cow troops around the rear as well, just to protect us if any cavalry flanks. You do need to put the flaming balls closer to the unit, because units need to uh, jump onto them so they can get ignited. We also need a little bit of a slope there, so we'll task the dismounted Templars to do that. Hopefully we can get a good run with them. <laughs> it's usually a 50-50 <laughs> in Attila. But here is the defending Principality of Antioch, now the Kingdom. I think I'll just call them Principality of Antioch. Instead of going back and forth to the kingdom. But here are the flaming balls. But this is a... <laughs> a really tough situation. Like I said at the start, it's make or break. We need to win this one here today. If not, we could lose the king. And our prized full stack. We do have three armies, but they're still a little bit away. So we could go with a famed crusader charge. To try and stop them forming up. Like Du Chatillon. So we'll move up just to get some line of sight. These guys are medium shock to heavy shock cavalry. But the sand dunes are quite twisty and, and twervy here. So we'll try and close the distance. Some of them have well, some of them are on top of a mountain here. We'll scout ahead. But the objective of this series, the challenge that I laid out at the start of the series, is I really want to hit the victory conditions and achievement of forming the Empire of Antioch. 
which is 18 regions. Easier said than done, getting that many amount. We're going to have to basically take out the entirety of the Ayubids their Egyptian holdings and maybe even our told out and I would also like to control Constantinople so we might have to go on annex and the Tolu at some point so thankfully as this charge is going through we can commit through here there isn't actually too many infantry intertwining so the Armenian Christian cavalry can charge mercenaries we brought in at the start of the series okay even though we oh, oh my god I was gonna say even though we've just seen spearmen there over the top of the hill, there's such a... <laughs> we came up and over the top of that with such high octane and velocity, we dropped them like a sack of spuds. Good, let's continue this charge going. We've knocked out 200. We need to just neutralize their cavalry, hit their weaker spears. My god! I don't think I've seen such a fiery high energy charge like that over a hill and we're going again oh my god they're flying oh my god that guy went 30 foot in the air i don't think i've seen anyone do that and i've seen a lot of 12 12 ad videos oh my god <laughs> just up and over the top of the hill just where they were sitting that's perfect and the crusaders are fighting for the kingdom of heaven now. Oh my god. So the more... If we can destroy this first army out of the three, we'll be able to swing the situation massively back in my favor. Or at least into my favor. Because it's not in our favor at all, I guess. Okay. We are losing casualties in doing so. The Ayubids trying to move in their shock cavalry now. We counter charge with them in the desert. But I will never forgive and I will never forget the Kingdom of Jerusalem and Cyprus leaving us without tails between our legs in Damascus. We'll have to get our vengeance on them. But once we can take Damascus, we, we hopefully can march upon Jerusalem and then ultimately Cairo, where the crusade has been called. But let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series, and where you'd like me to expand and conquer. So we've lost 200 men, but we've managed to nearly kill 700 of theirs. We're at a situation where we're fo basically focusing our entire military effort against the Ayubids. But there's no harm in leaving feedback and suggestions because it's going to get to a point where, like, do we betray the Kingdom of Jerusalem after what they did to us? I think so. But maybe we should be forgiving to our Catholic brethren, let's say. And... We sort of just have to uh, wait and see how what happens in Antioch. Because sometimes the Ayubids can take all of it. Trevisan, the Latin Empire or the Byzantines. It's quite a battle royale for Anatolia. A lot of fierce fighting around Ankara. So, unfortunately, the Ayubids have sorted themselves out here. And... Unfortunately, we've had to sacrifice the Crusader Cavalry. And I guess it's going to be a, a situation where <laughs> six units of cavalry went out and they didn't come back. So we managed to kill 700 of the enemy force there. It's not a bad idea because I don't know, even if they did engage the main line, would we be able to cycle charge like that? But... The Ayubids have won a minor victory to start things off. Six units went away, zero came back. A brave Armenian soldier there getting carved down by the Ayubid infidels. And some Principality of Antioch cavalry are making a retreat. Well, 
I guess we speed things up now. We sit back, relax in our defensive position, and wait for us to push. We do have a lot of defences. That can slow them down. We do have four archers. Most of my army is made up of dismounted crusaders, along with hospitalars and mounted sergeants. So it looks like the Ayubids are moving in a noble Ayubid medium shock unit. We might even be in range. The problem is getting surrounded, but hopefully our cow troops and defensive deployables can help us out in this one. Mm, we'd be in a really bad position if we don't have it. But the Iobids now are trying to gain supremacy on our right flank, swarming to overlap. We might have to form a new box just to defend our position, because the AI is being quite intelligent here, trying to circulate us. A couple of archer volleys have sounded out. Uh, some of the Ayubid cavalry was in range. Yeah, fire at will, lads. If you can pick your targets and hit them. I have no ill will using your ammunition. Bunch of wolves running across the battlefield there. Ready for the carcasses at the end. So, we'll get some shots off there with our archers. We need to soften and weaken up this cavalry. That's moving into us. We'll use heavy ammunition instead of normal or fire. Because their heavy cavalry is what's going to really harm us in this fight. Get a couple of decent shots off, lads. Let's bring them down from their high horses. Our Armenian archers are doing quite well here. Let's go over here with our peasant bowmen and try and target them down these foot Templars. Oh, why are you charging too far forward there, but... You've got to be careful in this Antioch campaign. It is definitely a harder campaign than the Kingdom of Jerusalem because one misplay and you can find yourselves <laughs> on the back foot and nowhere to flee. Well, at least with the Kingdom of Jerusalem, technically it's Jerusalem and Cyprus, isn't it? So you can flee to the island stronghold if need be. Some of this Ayubid cavalry is actually clipping those cow troops, which is good. And they might even go again into the spikes and cow troops. The Ayubids have sounded a charge and they're going to ignore them. It's getting a couple of them, but they're still very much charging through. My right flank is under pressure. <laughs> and it's 80% in the enemy's favor. Maybe we're just trying to mitigate losses at this point. Maybe we just need to try and kill as many of them as possible so my sons can have an easier time. Raymond and my son, Bohemond, can have an easier time conquering the Ayubids. Because I don't know how we're going to last any more of those cavalry charges. Some of them did retreat. Unfortunately, none of the units are going in front of those flaming bulls, so we can't deploy them just yet. Some Ayubid spearmen are clashing with my sergeants now. My archers have done alright there. We've nearly wiped out a full unit. A volley comes in from the enemy. We'll slow things down here now because we can activate them. Yeah, let's do it. Light the flaming balls! Let's burn them with holy fire! <laughs> let's purify the infidels! Let's go, 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 get them off, set them off! If we can. There we go, go forward. Yeah, there we go! Let's slow things down. The flaming fire of Christ! Oh my god. So we got one off. I, I, unfortunately, I don't think the second one went through. So we managed to destroy one unit there. That's not too bad. 
That's not too shabby if I do say. Maybe try reform. We might try a secondary time. So it completely destroyed a unit of Iobid Swordsmen. How fantastic is that? Okay, let's reform these archers up here. Uh, we've swung it back to about 70% here now. Like full firmer back, because I want to try and get it going if we can. But now, both sides are clashing upon the enemy line. Yeah, there we go. Some of them are going off. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're burning them to pieces. Oh, this is probably, like, the best opportunity we've had with Flaming Bulls. It's been a while since I used them. I think we had a pretty good battle against... Oh, it was an ambush, ambush battle in the Byzantine campaign. But that was, like, two years ago. I think. Yeah, it's been a while. What a battle, man. Heroic cavalry charges over hills. And now some decent deployables. But now, this is where the battle is going to be lost and won. Hold the line, men. Uh, I guess swing back to a different ammunition. We're not fight. We're not shooting at heavy cavalry now. So we use the fire just to scare like... Oh! You've seen a flaming ball come flying down at you. Then you see like an arrow twang over the top. Oh, stop that unit from flanking. They're doing well there to wrap around the stakes. But they're going to go right into it. <laughs> like, they can stop, like, one wave. That's a good volley there. That is a tremendous reactionary shot. And the Iobid frontline are clashing on us like water on rock. The Iobids have taken the initiative of flanking around my right hand side and they've pinned down and neutralized my archers quite well there <laughs> far out we outnumber uh, they outnumber us still two to one now with the remaining units we've got but they've just got so many archers left I know I'm rescuing my general here but we can't afford those archers to go back so here are the Templar Crusader armor soldiers holding. My god, this is such an epic final Crusader stand. Hold, men. Hold the line. We're lucky that we've got this little hill here as well. Because it is giving us high ground advantage. But the Iobids are trying to push through. Tooth and nail. They're taking a couple Crusaders with them. My god, this is going to be a close one. It's make or break, it's tooth or nail, they're running through us in the end. That cavalry unit actually capitulated perfect. Still not down and out for the count just yet, the Crusaders. We're fighting through it here. I don't want to say that we're going to win it, but we're in such a tremendous position. We just need to hold on just yet. Touch wood. <laughs> we don't want to jinx ourselves, but the Aubid's archers now are softening us up massively, whittling us with arrows. But the infantry might be gone. Now, that could be even a harder opposition. Once all the infantry goes, we have to deal with the skirmishers. And running after them, skirmishing us, kiting us, might be fruitless. Okay, so let's try and get my archers to diversify their shot targets. The Ubers are flying in with a cavalry charge here, trying to break my right flank. They're actually putting most of their axemen and heavies, they're trying to crumble on the right. They focus their cavalry there. Why wouldn't they focus their heavies there as well? That charge has been thwarted for now. My god, this has been... quite an insane battle. Definitely the best of the series so far. Okay. It's good to be back on Medieval Kingdom's Total War 12, 12 AD. I've missed it. It's been a while. Been playing a lot of Rome Total War Remastered, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. But the channel has had basically been taken over with it over the last coming weeks and months. Last two months, it's been Rome Remastered action. 
But I do enjoy the game, and particularly the RTR Imperium Serector mod. So, any future Let's Plays, I'm definitely going to be playing on that. Most definitely. Let's speed things up slightly. But, there are still a fair few more factions that we can play with on this mod. I do have a list of some factions that I haven't let's played on this mod that I'll be open to. So we've got Austria, the Moors, um, there's a fair few Germanic factions as well. Bavaria, Bohemia, uh, Genoa, um, Aragon, Brandenburg, I think like Genoa and Lithuania, Wallachia as well. But seeing there's been so many updates, maybe it's worth redoing some of the older campaigns because there's been so many updates. Like 2019, early 2020 was mostly the main European factions, but we're actually on par here. They've actually gone to a loose formation there, which is interesting. We can win this one now. We've swung this back to 50-50. But now, you can lose battles at this point. We could lose it if we charge out too carelessly, but we've just got to go. We can't wait any longer because we're just going to get ripped to shreds. So, we'll counter charge with everyone. And hopefully, we can bring this into our favour. So, although... We might be able to claim victory. It's going to be a, a hell of a cost. My archers haven't got any ammunition yet, so they're going to have to draw their short swords and any daggers that they can find. <laughs> Pick up an axe from your fellow Ayubid. Or a sword on the ground from your dropped crusader. Guess we can target. Their general. Oh no, we've lost our general. <laughs> In the dying moments of the match. Of the battle as well. In the dying mo moments of the matchup between the Ayubids and the Principality of Antioch. Uh, King Bohemid is slain with the thousand other crusaders. Oh my god, what a tremendous fight there against the Ayubids. Surrounded and outnumbered. A Pyrrhic victory. That's an understatement. So, yeah, King Bohemian is no more. So, I guess after the death of his father, Prince Raymond has now risen to the throne he wants to curse the Ayubids for what they did but now we still have a full stack in a hostile enemy territory this is turning very saving private Ryan <laughs> with this general here no so I guess who can take up the mantle I guess Alfonso yeah saving private Alfonso <laughs> Uh So we did manage to um I think we killed Saladin in that actually. Abu Bakr is isn't that him? Um but what a crazy fight we just had for Damascus far out. Right, back up in the north, we have the new king with Raymond. And his brother has been named the heir, Bohemond. So, we'll take this city now from the Ayubids. But, after the news he's heard about his father, eternal vengeance <laughs> and revenge 
must be sought. Justice must be sought against the Obids now. So we'll replenish and repair where we can and we'll try and push south. Because we still at the end of the day have to do the siege for Cairo. Oh, so now the kingdom of Jerusalem want to come down and help out. Okay, they can fight with us on this one, I guess. About time we fought together. But... Oh, king Hugh basically killed our king after all that. Right, so... A couple of their armies have fled back. The Kingdom of Jerusalem have actually taken Jerusalem now, which is annoying. And those armies from Damascus, I guess, have now fled. We've skipped a little bit ahead. King Raymond now is sending the entire might and army of Antioch South. Well, most of it. We've still got four units technically in oper four armies technically in operation. He's sending our best fighters south. So we should be able to take Damascus now with three full stacks. It's a shame. The Kingdom of Jerusalem took Jerusalem, because I would have quite liked it. But maybe it opens up more of an invasion front from Jerusalem to Egypt for them. Okay, so apparently we've been technically excommunicated for some reason. I don't even know why. We're attacking Ayubids. It's stupid. Yeah, I don't know why. Trespassing, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, we're about to take the Jordanian port city here. Yeah. Papal degree, uh, decree is kicks communicated, yeah. Well, hopefully we can come back. I don't know what. It's so strange. Hmm. Maybe because of Cairo? No, 10 turns left. I don't exactly know. Maybe they'll let me back in if we crusade, but we're just not close enough. I do want to be a little bit closer before we crusade into Cairo. But we'll auto resolve this one. Yeah, I don't know where the Ayubid armies left. I guess they got destroyed by Jerusalem when it got taken. Commander. Pretended to the throne, Hungary. A couple of noble births as well. Uh, England are going to give us trade and a huge amount of money. Okay. Venice has taken Alexandria. Who would have thought? And the armies of Christendom have arrived. Sicily have sent down an army as well. Well, we'll go on crusade, I reckon. Um, my third brother, Philip, has come of age as well. Henry should be of age soon, and Humbert has been born. My fifth and my fourth brother, technically. Mission issued. Uh, five regions. Yeah, so I guess we're not excommunicated now. Because they're going to let us do us. Let us join. I don't know why. Venice are coming up here. The Doge of Venice. Shout out. Dogecoin. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess we'll push for Cairo now. And we'll siege things out and we'll play that at the start of the next. Yeah, the Ob That's the first, like, Iobid full stack we've seen. I guess the Kingdom of Jerusalem smashed them when they, like, tried to hold in Jerusalem. So strange. We'll, we'll try and siege them out. And we'll take Cairo for the Pope, His Holiness, in the next. All right. Well, unfortunately on that note, guys, we'll chuck a save there, and it is time to end the video here. 
Thank you very much for watching episode two of my Principality of Antioch campaign. What a tremendous episode. So we managed to claim victory in the fields of Damascus, but it was at a cost. Our faction leader, King Raymond, has taken up the throne, seizing the remaining territory, but to be fair, they um, basically lost at Damascus. There were a couple of armies that fled back to there, though, um, before we managed to make our way back and consolidate ourselves and reorganize, convalesce in Holmes and then move back down. But yeah, we'll fight this one at the start of the next, of the Siege of Cairo, in episode 3, coming out soon. So thanks very much for watching, guys. That was a tremendous episode. I really, really enjoyed that one. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the battle as well. It was a good one. It was a juicy one. <laughs> so I'm going to play the outro now. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Right, take care, guys. Goodbye. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flip me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.